Well, I think that the art scene in China in general is a very fertile ground for artistic investigation at the moment. I think that there, that China is going through a period of uh, great change, really provide inspiration for artists to make work about big issues. I think we're seeing the largest movement of population from rural to urban environments and the advantages and benefits that that gives, but also the challenges that gives. So I think it's a, a very interesting time for the art scene in China. Well, I think that uh, it's very important to understand that art is transgressive. That's to say that art that provokes different kinds of feelings, uh, negative feelings, fears of sadness or, uh, or what have you, are just as important as works that make you feel happy. I think if one draws the comparison with, uh, with cinema, for example, there are all different sorts of genres of cinema, from horror to thrillers to romantic comedy. And I think life would be very boring if the only kind of cinema that you had was romantic comedy. And I feel very much that way about art as well. Well, I've recently returned to Bonhams late last year, but we have a work coming up in October by the esteemed Chinese artist Sai Gu Chang, uh, which is, was made in 2003, and it's called uh, Escalator Explosion for Pompidou. Uh, sai Gu Chang makes his work using the medium of gunpowder and explosions. And it is a, an, an enormous work, which is, measures around about three meters by eight meters. I, I collect in a very modest way. I wouldn't say I'm a collector, um, but uh, I enjoy work. And, but I also get to see a lot of work through my career as well. And so owning art is not uh, uh, the absolute priority for me, but I very much enjoy the opportunity to be the temporary custodian of some really wonderful pieces. What kind of artist would I like to be? Well, the, the kind of artists that I really appreciate are artists that really make work from the heart, that are making work, uh, and because they ab absolutely have to, that they have no choice. To be an artist is a, is a great uh, privilege, but it's also something of a burden. And I think that uh, artists who are making work, even if nobody is looking, are artists that we're really trying to seek out. Um, I would love to be an artist, but uh, sadly, my ability uh, is not the same as my ambition in that respect. That's, a, that's an interesting question. I think uh, one of the artists that I really greatly admire is the Venetian painter Giovanni Bellini. I think that he was very much ahead of his time. He had uh, incredible technique and his ambition was, was slightly beyond his technique and I think that that's a very interesting tension, that area between what you're trying to achieve and what you really can achieve.